to think that I was so foolish. What she is doing is courageous. That I was so taken. Some might call it heroic. And now I can never retrieve all that I've lost. 75-year-old Joan Howard is sharing her worst moments, her biggest mistake in life. I took 5000 and some dollars out of that. October the uh, 4th, I took out uh, $825.09. At her dining room table, she showed us the paper trail. The same day, I withdrew and closed my account, and that was $6,385.55. A roadmap to her life savings. Altogether, I lost $27,000. The reality, Joan Howard's story is unfortunately far from unique. Like thousands, hers started with a call Hello. and a promise. Well, he said, hi, Joan Howard? And I said, yes. And he said, this is Peter White. And I want to tell you, you have won $2.5 million and a car from Publishers Clearinghouse. And I said, Really? I couldn't believe that I could be so fortunate or lucky. But that luck came with a price tag. He said, we got to get the ball rolling, Joan, and the first thing we got to do is you need to send us $9,000. I went right over to the bank and withdrew $9,000. It's criminal. It's a scam and it causes us great concern both for the consumers and for our brand. Christopher Irving is a vice president at Publishers Clearinghouse. And guess what? You've just won our forever prize. <laughs> Publishers Clearinghouse gets contacts every week from consumers about imposters using our name. Irving says scammers regularly target senior citizens to cash in on the credibility of the Publishers Clearinghouse name. If it's a legitimate prize from Publishers Clearinghouse or from any sweepstakes, if they're asking you to send money, it is a scam. I just wanted to retreat and say, I can't believe that I did this. Couldn't believe because Joan's resume includes 16 years working in the White House, a career as a smart, successful, and driven professional. People were trying to warn you. Mm -hmm. You ignored that? Yes. Why? I just wanted it to be true. I just wanted to finally be solvent and have money to do things with. There was a lot of people in this branch that said, something doesn't feel right here. Joan Howard withdrew some of the $27,000 from this Wells Fargo branch in Lakewood. Bank employees know her well, and they tried to help. It's very frustrating when you've known these customers oftentimes for decades. So we're the ones that sometimes will feel like something is just off, but we cannot stop it. It's an ongoing problem for law enforcement. Um, there are way too many victims. Colorado's U.S. Attorney Jason Dunn confirms elder fraud is a priority and a challenge. How difficult is this to track down and put a bad guy in handcuffs? Yeah, it's tough, it's particularly when it involves an international fraud. Um, a lot of these, unfortunately, are based in Africa or India or in China. Joan now knows it's highly unlikely she will ever get her money back, but she hopes her $27,000 lesson prevents others from becoming the scammer's next victim, their next paycheck. I hope that I can help other people. Somebody who gets this telephone call. Joan is absolutely our hero. She's going to save the next few Jones because the light bulbs are hopefully going off right now that maybe what just happened to me is not right. I just wanted so badly to have something good come from all of this bad stuff.